most men didn't. I mean, as I uh, since this book's come out, um, I've met and spoken with and um, had communication with a lot of children or family of um, prisoners of war, and most, the great majority, never spoke about it. Um, it, and I think it was an incommunicable thing. It was so strange and so terrible. This, um, I mean, war is terrible enough, but I think we have some comprehension of war, even if we've never had experience of it. But just this enslavement, diminishment, and destruction of human beings for no, n no reason that makes any sense. I, I think to live through that. Um, was to live through something that's almost beyond the power of words to describe in any way. I get asked a lot, how did I research it? People think I, I must have done so much work, but in truth I didn't. I did spend some time talking with my um, dad about very small things, you know, the, um, the nature of the mud, the, the, the smell of a um, a shin bone that was rotting from a tropical ulcer, the, the way the limestone rock would cut you when you were bare feet, because I thought the truth was in those details. I mean, life in the end isn't dramatic, it's material. We, we live it through our senses, through our smell and touch and so on. But I think really I, I made it up and I, and I, I got this very extraordinary letter the other day from a woman whose father had um, been a Japanese prisoner of war. In fact, his prisoner of war experience is almost identical to my father. And she said that she wondered how much of it I carried within me. I think I carried most of it within me. I think when the horror of war is that people come back, if they come back, and many don't, but if they come back, I think the they carry these terrible wounds within them. And those wounds pass out through their family, through communities. Um, and for a time, man survives by his ability to forget. We have to forget terrible trauma in order to go on. That's, it's important. We, we live in this age of the confessional where we think if we just tell everything will be healed but it's not so for a time people have to forget but then I think also there's a moment when you have to step back into the darkness and 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 look at it and name it for what it is because freedom finally exists in the space of memory but for a lot of these men they never were able to reach that second point that wasn't allowed them sadly and so then it falls to others to somehow seek to um, communicate the incommunicable and perhaps that sometimes falls to writers.